Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela, and in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new ish elf concealer. This is what it looks like it's the 16 hour um, camo concealer. Okay, and let me give you some specs. This concealer retails for $5 great I know it says it's a full coverage 16 hour wear concealer featuring a large doe foot applicator to conceal correct contour and highlight for flawless skin the highly pigmented formula is lightweight dries matte and won't settle into fine lines or creases we shall see and it is ideal for all skin types okay so let's see this doe foot applicator Yes, it's a pretty large doe foot. Let me compare this to my Makeup Revolution. Okay, there's the Makeup Revolution one compared to this one. So yeah, pretty large. <laughs> and I also have their new Putty Primer. I'm pretty sure this is sold out at least once. And I wanted to try it out. It says, this skin perfecting putty primer is infused with squalane to help grip makeup for all day wear and help protect the skin from moisture loss. The velvety texture glides effortlessly over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. We shall see. Okay, so let's start off with the primer. This is what it looks like. It does not feel how I thought it was gonna feel. It goes on like really, really smooth over the skin. Normally, um, poreless primers are kind of like um, grippy, where they wanna like, I don't know, they just make the skin a little bit on the drier side. And so I'm glad that this is not doing that. So I'm gonna get closer to see if we can tell a difference. Don't really see any pore reduction. But I do like how it feels on the skin. For our foundation, let's do the Maybelline 24-hour uh, Superstay full coverage. Now to the star of the video, and it claims to be full coverage, so we're gonna see. I got mine in the shade Tan Sand. So let's flip it to the clean side and blend it out. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see that a little bit of this goes a long way because I put a little bit too much under my eyes, but I just carried it onto the lids 
to um, cancel that out. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. Okay, we're going to set with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm going to lightly set since this said that this is a matte concealer. If you saw my Fenty Beauty concealer review, you'll know that um, me and matte concealers aren't really, we don't go together, so. I'm gonna set this very lightly. Okay, I will do the rest of my face off camera and I will be back to show you the finished look. Okay, so I'm back and this is my finished look. I'm digging the blue. Are you guys? Anyways, this is what my face is looking like. I think the concealer looks pretty good so far. I'm not experiencing any creasing or um, collecting in the folds like I was with the Fenty concealer. So far, so good. I think it looks fine. So I will see you guys in a few hours and I will let you guys see what my face is looking like and my thoughts on the concealer a few hours later. Okay guys, so the day completely got ahead of me and I had a whole bunch of errands and things like that to run. So this is what my face looked like at 9, 10 p.m. So it's been on my face for a pretty long time, but as you can see, the concealer still looks pretty good the only thing I would say is I do look a bit dewy but as far as the concealer goes I feel like everything stayed intact still looks nice it did crease just a bit but not too bad and overall I really like this concealer if you enjoyed the video you already know what to do like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on my next one bye guys